friends welcome back to our channel learn with gigs today i will discuss with you one scenario based question which was recently asked in the power bi interview at adobe this scenario was provided to me by one of my connections on linkedin so thought of creating a video on it so that it can be shared with you all as well the experience of the candidate was 2.1 years and friends if you also want to discuss any scenario and that you have recently faced in the power bi interviews you can post your scenarios in the comment box i will try to make video on it soon so let's discuss the scenario and before that do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos so as you can see on the screen the interviewer provided columns like this one is product color code and quantity three of the columns has text data type and one has whole number as as its data type now he wanted one custom column to be created in addition to these four columns which should result like this which should result like this that means a colon 000 hyphen 100 and what it is see a colon 000 hyphen 100 so basically merging of three columns he want with the help of some special characters like hyphen or colon okay this is what he expected in a custom column to be generated for every record in this table i hope you understood the scenario so you will think this question is very easy so at one step what you will do you will merge this product and code column like this you will select product column and code column and click on merge okay merge columns and you will do you will select colon from here and click on okay so it will result this particular column now after this you will select again this and this column do merge columns this time you will do it using a hyphen since hyphen is not there then you will click on custom and you will see you will write it here as hyphen click on okay right so this is how the custom column can be generated right this is what was needed but you can see here you have taken two steps you have applied two transformations to reach this particular custom column but this was not asked by interviewer you had to create this particular custom column in one step only so that was the motive of the interviewer so that he wants to understand whether you know how to create a custom column or not directly instead of doing this kind of transformation multiple times so how to do this using a custom column let us see that so for that i will first remove these two steps that we have done here i will go to the add column tab and click on this custom column So I will rename it to result column. Now what is what is my first column? It should be my product. Okay, so I will click on this. Now it has to be concatenated with the code column. So for that, what I will use here? I will use a AND operator here because in M query using AND operator you can combine multiple columns which are of text type. We know that here product code are text type, so we can combine them using AND operator. so let us do that first and they have to be combined using co colon right as you can see here they have to be combined using colon so for that what i will do i will provide first here colon using inverted commas i will provide here colon okay i have provided colon then i will concatenate with my second column that is code okay now the third column is my quantity column again i will use and operator this time the separator is hyphen so i will give hyphen here then again and operator here and i will used quantity column right this is what was needed now let us click on this okay button and see if we get the result desired result see we have got some error what is this error we cannot apply and operator to type text and number okay okay got it so as you can see here the third column that we used was quantity column and this quantity column has whole number as its as its data type right and the other two columns which was code and product it had text as its data type obviously so if you will concatenate something text with a number it will throw an error and that's what it is showing it is showing an error that it can't apply and operator to text and number at the same step so you can say okay i will go to this quantity column and change its data type to text no you should not do that because it's a quantity column and this will be utilized in your some other calculations as a whole numbers so you can't really change its data type from whole number to text directly over here now how to resolve this so for that i will go again back to this added custom column and i will do some modification here so problem is there with this quantity column okay so for that what i will do i will use here num2 text so you can see here this is my m function num.2 text i will select this what it will do it will 
convert the number type to text data type now after this i will create an open parenthesis here select this quantity column and click on the close parenthesis so you can see here no error is coming and we have changed the data type from number to text in one step only and i can tell you the interviewer must have asked this question to the candidate to assess whether he knows some basic m query or m language or not so that's why this particular scenario was given now let me click on this okay button and let's see how what does the result comes out to be see we have got the desired result but still this red icon is there which is telling me there are seven errors here so you can see here it is not able to detect its data type and that's why this error is coming so what we will do we will just go here and change its data type to text and see we have got the desired result which was actually wanted by the interviewer let me know in the comment box if you know any other solution and i hope you understood the solution that i have discussed in this video so do share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you